So I have all the bits to repair this um, arcade game thing. Uh, you can watch the previous video somewhere up here. So the first thing I've got is a replacement for this voltage regulator, which has died. So unfortunately, I can only get 100 pieces of these. So I've got quite a few spares now. So we'll use that to replace the voltage regulator. I have a trusted uh, battery charger. So one of these classic boards. And I think we can probably fit that nicely, maybe here. So that might fit nicely there. And then these LEDs are kind of in the same place as the existing LEDs. And then we'll just run some wires around. I've got a couple of um, shock key diodes. So at the moment, there's, there's absolutely no charging control circuitry on this board at all. What I'll do is I'll have one diode from the 5 volt line from the USB going into the switch. And another diode, I think we'll remove this, um, this jumper resistor here. Replace that with a diode, that comes from the positive end of the battery. But the, uh, the first thing I want to try is, can I resurrect this battery? So at the moment, it's completely flat, it's reading zero volts. So I'm going to try and um, hook it up to the voltage charger see if we can bring it back to life. So let's um, solder some wires onto this. And then what I think I'll do is I'll try and use this board. So I'll just solder the wire straight to here. It's got a nice connector for the battery. And we'll see if we can bring this back to life. So let's get a bit of solder and solder up these battery terminals. So we'll just tin these pads here. They're B plus and the B minus. So this is B minus. So now we'll just connect that there and then do the same for B plus. B minus and B plus hooked up. And then we'll just attach them to these points here on the PCB. So this should be the plus side of the battery. Just put a bit of uh, leaded solder on there. And this is the minus side of the battery. Let's put some leaded solder on there as well. Let's tin these um, two wires. Okay, that's nicely tinned. So now we want minus going to here and then plus going to here. Oops, making a bit of a dog's dinner of that. Let's get a better angle. Okay, that'll do. So what we should be able to do is, this will just slot back into the case, which I have here. So we'll just slide this back on and get it organized very rattly. There we go, so that's back in the case. And then the battery should go here. And now we should be able to just plug this charger into USB-C and we should see if it actually charges or maybe it's just going to go bang. Let's, uh, let's find out, see if this battery comes back to life or not. So our battery voltage rapidly increasing. Let me, let me show you that. So voltage on our battery is going up nicely. Yeah, you can't see that. That's way, way too much reflection. I think that's better. There we go. Battery voltage going up. So I think we'll leave this charging for, for a while and see if the battery comes back to life nicely. So this is looking nice. We're now getting um, half an amp going into the battery charger. So the battery is charging up nice and quickly. Let's just have a look at the battery voltage. So I'll bring in the multimeter and we can see, let's just probe here and here. So that's looking very nice. We're um, yeah, 4.1 uh, volts. So it's charging up nicely now. Um, this, this light will soon turn, um, I think it turns green or maybe it's blue, I can't remember, but it will soon change and the battery will be fully charged. So I think our battery is back into life. Okay, so we're looking good. We're getting a blue light. Interesting that it's going blue-red. I've not seen that before in these charging boards, but blue is good. So let's take the battery out and measure the actual voltage we've got. And hopefully we should have um, around 4.2 volts. 4 volts. It's not too bad. What I'll do is I will um, keep an eye on this, so I'll leave it. It seems to be going down. Um, hopefully it isn't going to go down forever. But I'll leave this for an hour or so and see what voltage we've got. Since we're about to look at a whole bunch of PCBs, let's do a shout out to PCBWay who do all the PCBs for this channel. Check out our link in the description. They're really great. So the next stage of our fixing, we need to remove this regulator. So I've decided to use my mini hot plate for this. So we'll hopefully get this heated up. We should be able to do a very quick swap with the old one for the new one. So let's get a bit of light on this. 
and we'll slowly warm this up. Now hopefully we won't melt any plastic doing this. There is a switch here, which I'm slightly concerned about, but I'll try and avoid getting that too much on the heat. So let's just position this a bit better. All right, so hopefully the solder will melt soon. We can lift this off and swap it for the new one. Oops, slight accident there. Let's just slide this capacitor back into the right place. There we go. Not the, uh, not my finest work, but uh, I think that will probably be okay. And I've just realised my microscope was not recording again, which is a bit annoying. But anyway, I'll just do a bit of touch up on the solder joints. Okay, so that should be good. Let's just touch up this a bit. Let me do a bit more solder on that joint. Yeah, that's better. Well, not a great job, but it's now nicely connected. So while I'm here and I've got the soldering iron switched on, why don't we wire up the 5 volts to the input? So I'm going to come in and go from there, from there to... Well, we can go to there, actually. That's the same 5 volt connection. Yeah, I think that will do. So let's go in and do that. So we'll hold this in position. Let's push that down with the tweezers. We come in here with the soldering iron. It's one end connected. And then we'll just connect this end to this pad here. All right, there we go. That should work perfectly. So that will connect the USB 5 volts. So USB coming in here, 5 volts comes along this trace, comes here, we'll go through this diode across to here, goes back up here, through this test point into the switch, and then when you turn the switch on, that will connect the 5 volts into the input of this voltage regulator. So let's quickly check that, see if it actually works. So, very noisy having this speaker floating around. I wonder if I should actually remove it for now. Let's take the speaker off for now because it is getting a bit annoying. There we go. No more rattling. Should have done that at the start of the video. Right, let's get a cable, plug this in, and then we'll see if we get 3.3 volts on the output of our voltage regulator. Let's move that out of the way. Let's find a quick cable. Okay, let's plug this in. And then we'll turn on that switch. So we get a, a blue light here, which indicates five volts coming in. This test point here should be five volts. And ground, yep. So let's, uh, let's bring this in so you can see it as well. So we've got five volts there. And hopefully, if we go to this pin here, then we've got 3.3 volts. Obviously I've got my pin things the wrong way around. We should have. 3.3 volts coming in. That's perfect. Uh, let's bring the screen in quickly. Just unplug that, turn that off. Let's plug the screen in and double check that we are actually getting this thing turning on. One of the big moments of this video, does it actually turn on? Got to wait for it to boot. There we go. That works. Okay, so the screen works. So that's our 5 volts coming in okay without any problem. Let's unplug this before I destroy anything. Put that somewhere safe. So, so that's good. So that's three volts coming in there. Now the next thing we need to do is find a home for this board. So I've already put some Kapton tape and some double-sided sticky tape on it. So we'll put this board somewhere like um, maybe here. Try and slot that in nicely. And then we need to connect the ground so you can see we've got a ground here needs to connect to uh, this point here positive here needs to connect probably to this test point battery plus will go to here battery minus will go to one of these pins here we need to cut this track uh, somewhere and then the battery minus 
will go to ground somewhere as well. So I'm sure we can find another ground test point. There's one there. So, so that will do that next. Um, so far, looking promising in our repair mission. The screen's gone black, the buttons don't blink The joystick's wobbly, it's on the brink The game's gone mad, it's lost its cheer But I got my solder and I got no fear Fix it up, fix it up, matey Sparks are flying, don't be lazy Patch the board and wire it crazy Fix it up, fix it up, matey the circuit's fried, the beeps are mute The speakers cough like an old sea flute I'll grab my tools and my roll of tape No silly game can make escape I'll twist and turn, I'll make it new A sailor's work but for the crew Fix it up, fix it up, matey Sparks are flying, don't be lazy Patch the board and wire it crazy Fix it up, fix it up, matey a drop of solder, a twist of wire I'll mend this ship before it's dire Buttons glow like a lantern's light This arcade sailing through the So this is looking quite promising. We're on battery power. We have sound coming out and the screen's working. I think my repair actually looks not too bad. Um, so that's pretty good. Oh, it's just powered off. Well, it's, it's, come, it's become disconnected from the battery. So that's fine, not something to worry about. So uh, let's get this all reassembled and um, see if it still works once it's completely assembled. <laughs> 